In this video I'm going to be working out an individual limit problem and to do this I am going to reference the limit as x approaches 0 of sine kx over kx. We know that this is a known limit of 1 and so my goal since I have a sine in this one is to force my algebraic work for to force this to look like this so that I can apply this concept that I know this limit is equal to 1. All right, so before I start any limit problem, the first thing that you probably should always do is a direct substitution. So we're going to do a direct substitution here to make sure that we have that indeterminate form. So if I do a direct substitution, I'm going to have sine of 2 times 0 all over 2 times 0 squared plus 0. Sine of 0 there on top is 0, and 0 plus 0 on the bottom is going to give me 0. So that 0 over 0 indeterminate form definitely shows up here. All right, so then what I have to do is I've got to figure out how I can go about manipulating this, hopefully to come up with a sine of, in this case, 2x over 2x. Okay, so on the bottom, the first thing I'm going to see is I'm going to see that I need to factor that. So I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 2x on top. I'm going to take the x out of the bottom. So x times the quantity, 2x plus 1. All right, now from here, I've got a sine 2x on the top, and I've got a plain x on the bottom. I just need to get it with that 2, and then I've got this left over. So you can separate this rational function, as long as you keep it equivalent, you can separate it into two individual rational functions, which is what I'm going to do here. So we're going to do the limit as x approaches 0. I'm going to have the sine of 2x over x times... 1 over that 2x plus 1, the limit of this entire quantity. And all I did was I took this and separated this. If I take these two fractions and multiply them back together, I will end up with this. So that's a good check to make sure that you are sure that you have an equivalent fraction there. You've got an equivalent statement here that is equal to this fraction. All right, now, this is getting very, very close to this. I just need a 2 in the bottom. All right, if I multiply, as long as I multiply by a form of 1, then I am okay to not change this. So because the coefficient here of that x right there is a 2, and I need a 2 on the bottom, I'm going to choose to multiply this by 2 over 2. All right, now what's going to happen is this 2 on top is left over. I don't need it, so I'm going to pull it outside my limit. And this 2 right here is going to be placed right in front there so that I have an actual 2x right there. All right, now let's go ahead and rewrite that expression. I'm going to have the 2 out in front, and then I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0. I now have the sine of 2x over the 2x times the 1 over the 2x plus 1. All right, I can now take the limit of each one of those individually. So I would have 2 times the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of 2x over 2x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 2x plus 1. All right. 2 is just 2. This right here is our given limit that we know is 1. So that's an easy computation right there. And then this, I'm going to do a direct substitution at this point. So I would have a 1 over 2 times 0 plus 1, which will just leave me a 1 right there. So I would have a 2 times 1 times 1, which gives me an overall limit of 2. All right, so one quick little limit there showing all of the steps necessary to actually work that limit out algebraically um, and taking advantage of the fact that we do know that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine kx over kx is going to be 1. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping you, I'd love for you to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.